This is the true story. This is the true story of guitar YouTubers. This is the true story of guitar YouTubers! Pick to live in a guitar house. Unbox together. Demo together. Play together. To find out what happens when... People stop being guitar! And start being house. And start being house. Guitar house. Guitar house! Guitar house! Guitar house! Guitar house! Guitar House is brought to you with support from Sweetwater, Diadario, Chase Bliss, and Big Ear Pedals. Hi there, Perfecto de Castro here and welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Okay, I'm still here in San Diego at 60 Cycle Homes Guitar House. And again, big thanks to our sponsors, Sweetwater, Chase Bliss, Diadario, and Big Ear Pedals. So for this video, we are going to take a closer look at the Kramer Pacer Classic this wonderful little shred machine right here in my color, purple. <laughs> it is a reissue of the classic Kramer Pacer body and setup right here. And to get all the specs about this guitar, I will put a link in the video description. So at first glance, it has two humbuckers and three controls, which is a little different from your typical Super Strat setup. So each humbucker gets its own volume. Okay. So that's for the neck, and this is for the bridge. Okay. And a combination of both in the middle. Okay. I will share more about my thoughts on this layout a little bit later on. But yeah, you have the two volumes and a master tone. Then next up on the specs is a Floyd Rose Special. Okay, for all the weedly weedly wang bar woo stuff. <laughs> 22 fret maple neck, and this is made in China. So let's check out some sounds. I'm plugged into a 5150 Iconic Combo from EVH, which is, I think, appropriate for this type of guitar. And we'll check out some hot rotted tones. Okay, let's start with the neck pickup in the clean channel. Then a uh, bridge pickup. Now I should mention that I'm playing this guitar pretty much straight out of the box, aside from tuning it up and leveling the Floyd Rose. This was unboxed earlier by WCM, uh, Jason and Tia. Check out their channel, very cool people. And uh, as soon as they're done, I just grabbed it and ran away with it. So <laughs> here we are. Okay, um, initial thoughts. The neck pickup is louder than the bridge pickup. So if it were me, I would uh, lower the neck pickup just a little bit, just so it's a little more even. Big jump in volume there. And it also makes the neck pickup sound a little dark. But overall, it's got some nice spank to it and nice output. It's very comfortable under the fingers. Now let's hear how this guitar sounds with a little dirt. <laughs> okay, I will say that this guitar lives in the dirtier sound of things. <laughs> wow, that surprised me. Okay, um, that was the bridge pickup. Let me switch to the neck. Wow. <laughs> okay, so 
True to the Kramer uh, motto, this guitar is made to rock hard. Okay, now let's talk about the individual volumes. Um, most of my other guitars are set up with a master volume and master tone. And this layout is more of a Gibson Epiphone thing where they assign individual volume controls to each pickup. And there's some pretty cool things that you can do with this. So one immediate thing is the Jimmy Page trick. Here is our dirty sound. Then you're gonna switch to the neck pickup and lower the volume until it's not as dirty, so. There you go. And now you can use the pickup selector as a channel switch for your amp. Or you can also do it the other way around. Let's lower the bridge volume. There you go. And then neck volume will be full tilt. Though I will say that the neck pickup with the volume rolled down tends to sound a little too round and uh, a little muddy. Yeah, so for the neck pickup, I prefer it at full volume, though this can be a pretty good candidate for a treble bleed mod. Anyway, there you have it. That is the first play and first look at the Kramer Pacer Classic. Check it out on Sweetwater. I will have my Sweetwater affiliate links in the video description. And if you're ready for a new guitar day, please use those links. It will help this channel a lot. And as you're watching this, there's probably a ton of other content coming out of the other participating YouTube channels here at Guitar House. So I will put all their links in the video description. Check them out, subscribe, and enjoy all that stuff. And again, big thanks to Ryan Burke and 60 Cycle Home for putting us all together in this Guitar House. Hey everyone. Here he is. You're welcome. <laughs> I love it. Thanks, Ryan, for putting it all together. Yeah, so watch out for more stuff from Guitar House. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, hit subscribe if you haven't yet, and don't forget to ring that bell. And let me know what you think of the Kramer Pacer Classic in the comments section. Now click on an end card to go watch another video, or you can go grab your guitar and play something. You all know the drill. Practice makes perfecto. Cheers, guys. Next time on Guitar House. I don't know, man. I wouldn't call this purple. Okay, there's a lot more purple to this. I honestly don't know what's happening. <laughs> We're all camera-loving narcissists around here. I knew it was going to turn out just fine. Is there going to be a blooper reel? That's what